Hello and welcome to another edition of uh, Unscripted. We're not on the sofa today, we're actually on tour and we're doing this live from uh, Western Supermare and uh, we've been really blessed today. The, the weather's really, really fantastic. good. fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's really, really packed down here. There's lots and lots of people. But I just thought today, you know, we'd uh, obviously share some of the images with, with you, but uh, just want to talk about, you know, how difficult or how easy you found things and what you found easy and what you found difficult. So what, what's, what's your reaction to that, Flavio? Well, I would say that one of the difficulties here in uh, Western Superman, like normally the seaside, is that uh, the majority of the people are uh, concentrated on the promenade and on the beach. The promenade is a, a narrow path, uh, relatively, yep. and uh, you can be fairly conspicuous when you're on a promenade, but even more so when you're on the beach, uh, a person walking with a camera and just look at, lurking around and looking at people can be fairly conspicuous again. So it's just a matter of uh, finding a way to to be natural out sure. there and to be very, very fast in taking the picture. I think that's the key. You know, you've got to be fast and you've got to know yeah. your camera inside out. And it's yeah. a really key thing. You know, as, as a street photographer, you know, you need to practice your art and get good with your camera because if you're not, there are opportunities and Absolutely. there's lots of them. Absolutely. Um, and I think the other thing as well is, uh, you know, it's, it's a big mistake to go hunting in a pack. So we split up. Yeah, because uh, you know we notice quite quickly that when there's two people or three people together, and there's something happening, it's almost like a camera club type of thing. You know, everyone sort of congregates around that person, and then no one gets the shot. No. Whereas no. you know when you're just walking apart by yourself, there are little things there you need to pre-focus. So you know I've set my camera to like sort of I don't know 10, 10 foot to infinity. It's so bright today. You know even on uh, you know. 100 ISO, we're, we're something like F11 to F16, yeah. so depth yeah. of field isn't an issue. Um, Neither is shutter speed because no. it's, it will always be very high. Sure. Yeah. And I think the other thing as well is there's a lot of things that are very similar still. You know, you've still got to look for the light, and I know it's bright everywhere, but you've got to use that light. And, and I no doubt a lot of today's images will be in black and white because it suits that. It's a high contrast On situation. On your side, probably. Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> but it's a high contrast situation. Yes, it is. Yeah. So um, you know, we've we've positioned ourselves today so the sun is on us, and yeah, uh, you know, it's very to difficult to look at the camera because it's so bright and so low the sun is. But if you're taking pictures, you know, and you, you take them the other way around, you're going to have to so um, overexpose the image, and the background is just going to wash out. Yeah. So you've got to kind of embrace the sun. And, and use it so you can only kind of shoot one way really absolutely yeah and that, I think it's this is a really fundamental takeaway that here on the beach you, you will have to always choose your position very very carefully according to the light because it's going to be either otherwise just silhouettes or just black shapes on the beach or black shapes on mm. uh, with the water behind them and it's not going to make for a great uh, a picture unless there is something really exceptional sure. happening. I mean, you, c you can try the silhouettes thing. Yeah, um, yeah. but you need something really good happening. Of course, there. of course. So do you, do you think you've got anything today? I think I got a, a, a few decent shots. Mm. I don't think I got any crackers, but mm. yeah, a few decent shots. Mm. I'm the same. I think uh, literally when I got here, I got my, my favorite shot. Uh, there was a family and uh, I was sort of hanging around them and, and they were aware of me. And um, in fact, this guy had this amazing beard and I just said yes. to him, like, I've got beard envy from you. And um, it broke the ice, so to speak. And you know, he just laughed and carried on. Uh, and then I took some pictures and you know, he was unaware that I was taking them, but uh, you know, he, was, he was aware of my presence. And that's that thing we spoke about a lot of times is like, you've got to be close to people to take their picture. And that yeah. can be physically close, but also he was comfortable with me being around him. Absolutely, because you, you, he knew about you, uh, but because you stayed there, you, uh, you opened up to him and just spoke to him, they, they just got comfortable mm -hmm. about your presence and they forgot about you. Mm -hmm. And that is well, so, something we spoke about in previous videos, the, the idea of making yourself part of the environment. Sure. 
and that is where you will really get good pictures. And that is a good picture. Sure. After, after no, thank you. And uh, again, what what um, what lens are you using today, Flavio? Uh, I was using a 45 millimeter lens. Okay. Uh, today, so I, I, my favorite focal length is always 50, uh, and 45 is close enough to be my favorite focal sure. length, but it gives you that little more width sure. to, to work with. I know you're a kind of 50-28 or 50-24 yeah. type of yeah. guy, and I'm kind of 35-85, although I very, very rarely use the 85 lens. Uh, so I've been on 35 all day today, and it does mean you need to get close to people. Yes. Uh, but you know, if, if, you're, if you're experienced and you can get in there, you pre-focus and you just go, you see the situation, you sort of, just get in there, go in there, take the picture. And if they, if they see you, you know, just acknowledge them. I yep. mean, I've had it a few times you where people thank have, you. yeah. I mean, the um, pictures of the, um, the roller skaters or the blade skaters, again, you know, they were aware of us. And, uh, you know, I took a few pictures and I went, thanks. I took a few more and one of the girls, because there was three of us then, just said, oh, go away. Yeah. Because she'd had enough. Yeah. yeah. And you just got to accept that, say thank you, and walk away. Absolutely. But on one uh, uh, point, the fact that you have to be fast, uh, is the fact that I think one thing that really, really helps, the first thing is pre-focusing. A way I do it, according to where the subject might be, I tend to focus on the, on the ground, or something that is roughly at the same uh, distance. And because I'm at f8, f11, a slightly, um, lack of precision is not a problem there because it's going to be in mm. full focus mm. anyway and then the fact is that you walk close to it pre-visualize the scene pre-visualize your frame that's a great thing about always using the same lens the same uh, uh, prime lens because you know exactly what the frame will be you pre-visualize it and when you know what you want to get without staring at your subject because they will know exactly what you're of about course, to do yep. mm. you just raise your camera to your eye take the shot and you can walk away at that Absolutely. point. Absolutely. But I still think you've got to push yourself and you know, it's very easy to see a, a single person, you know, smoking a cigarette or just having a, you know, just chilling there. Yeah. And they're very easy, uh, if you like, prey to go and take a photograph of. Yes. Yeah. But still look for those things, you know, like if it's two people, have another two people, so you've got two and two or, or a group of three. Yes. And then make sure the heads are not crossing over. So you've still got to look for those compositional things because yeah, that's how you push yourself as a street photographer. Absolutely. And trying to get, you know, the, a great thing to get here on the, on the beach is the family. Sure. Uh, the, the family is just uh, lying down and uh, uh, they might have just set up their own little camp. Absolutely. And they are set out in a certain pattern. Mm. And just taking in that pattern and adding that extra element. Mm. So I'm trying to find mm. some other layers. It, it, it actually is quite fun. Absolutely. It, it is a lot of fun and it's challenging. A challenge. yeah, but the there's nothing wrong with challenging yourself. We should be challenging ourselves. Absolutely. Whatever level we're at. But uh, yeah, I think that's probably it for today. Yes. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, we've got another course coming up very, very soon. Um, it's not in West Sumer. This one's in Blackpool. So it's probably going to be even more uh, vibrant, more things going on. And uh, we've got a couple of spaces left. So if you're interested, just give us a tinkle, um, have a look on the website. And um, I believe there's a, uh, for the next week or so, there's a 10% discount. We'd just love to fill those spaces and uh, you know, get you on those courses so you can see how much you're going to learn from a street, um, shoot the street uh, course. But uh, it's goodbye from Mark. And, and goodbye from Flavio. Please subscribe and uh, click the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.